The wife of disgraced Chinese politician Bo Shi Lai has described her suspended death sentence for murder as a just verdict. The sentence means that Gu Kai Lai is likely to face life in jail for murdering British businessman Neil Haywood last year. The case has derailed the career of Bo Shi Lai, a Communist Party chief once tipped for the top, but who was stripped of all positions earlier this year. Our China correspondent Hui Fen Tei reports from Hefei in southeastern China. A carefully handpicked audience filed into this court in southeastern China's Anhui province to hear the verdict of a criminal case that is at the heart of one of China's biggest political scandals. The defendant Bo Gu Kai Lai has committed international homicide and has been suspended to the death penalty, suspended for two years, deprivation of political rights for life. This verdict is just. It shows special respect for the law, reality and life. Not long after, a lawyer for the family of English businessman Neil Haywood was mobbed by the media as he revealed Gu Kai Lai had received a suspended death sentence of two years. The court determined that Gu Kai Lai is guilty of murder and sentenced her to death with a two-year reprieve, with her political rights revoked for the remainder of her life. Well, it's very rare that people in that situation will get executed, particularly at that stat status, uh, being such a high-ranking, the wife of such a high-ranking official. So they weren't about to put a bullet in her head. The family employee Zhang Xiaojun was sentenced to nine years. Four police officers were also jailed for covering up the murder. I thank everyone for their concern. We respect the court's decision. The British Embassy said it welcomed the investigation and trial. Earlier, Gu Kai Lai's lawyer had pleaded for leniency, saying she was not of sound mind at the time of the murder and had assisted investigators with information about the crimes of others. A court spokesman said it did not accept one of the main arguments that Neil Haywood posed a threat to Gu Kai Lai's son. Neil Haywood did verbally threaten Gu Kai Lai's son, which increased the friction between them. But there's no evidence that Mr Haywood had actually harmed her son. The conclusion of this murder case comes just months before China begins its once-in-a-decade leadership transition. In the meantime, Gu Kai Lai's husband, Bo Xi Lai, awaits his own fate for unspecified disciplinary violations against China's Communist Party. And Australia's former ambassador to China, Jeff Raby, says the sentence given to Gu Kai Lai doesn't give any clues as to the fate of her husband. My view, for all it's worth, has been all along that uh, Wang Lijun, the uh, head of the Chongqing police who fled to the US uh, consulate in Chengdu, will probably have a death sentence and that will be uh, carried out for treason. Uh, Gu Kai Lai's, uh, uh, sentence which has just been announced is is what I expected um, and I think uh, Bo Xi Lai will be handled internally within the party as an internal party disciplinary matter and uh, most likely it will be something like what they did with Zhao Ziyang after uh, Tiananmen Square in 1989 uh, some form of uh, house arrest um, but his circumstances will be uh, will be okay.